outcome of the vote today, uh, but focusing on your comments and the president's saying this would be a vote against life if people voted right. against it. Uh, several Republican members said they did not want the vote on Planned Parenthood in this particular bill. Congressman John Faso of New York was particularly outspoken. Did anything come up in the negotiation or from the White House of saying they guarantee a separate vote on Planned Parenthood and leave it out of the bill? I I'm not aware of that, John. I I'm not aware that, that that happened. And the White House, from your tone and the President's, the White House wanted the Planned Parenthood vote in? I I'd have to go back and look at, I th there's a lot of discussions that go on. I honestly can't remember uh, how or when that came up. The other thing I wanted to ask was that the last two members who announced they were no, Chris Smith and Frank Robiondo, Republicans of right. New Jersey, both cited the number of Medicaid recipients in their district mm -hmm. as their premier reason. Uh, Congressman Lobiondo said in three counties, 30 percent of his constituents were on Medicaid and he wanted no damage. Was there anything discussed on Medicaid? Was it on the table in the negotiations? Well, I, I know that there was a discussion about the expansion of Medicaid um, and some of the work requirements with respect to able-bodied Americans uh, who are receiving that. But, you know, I, I would say this, John, one of the things that not member specific to either of the members from New Jersey, um, is that members have to understand that the current system is unsustainable. So if you vote no today, then what is your alternative? And what do you want? Because right now, uh, there's a lot of folks that, that, are gonna, that have said they're gonna vote no, which is you know, their, their prerogative. But at the end of the day, the current Obamacare system will collapse on its own. And so the question that they have to ask themselves or that they're going to be asked by their constituents is, then what is your alternative? Because you, right now, this is the choice that will save the system. The other choice is to do nothing, and that, will, that is going to collapse the system. Amen. Thanks, John. The stock market's been largely looking at this as a proxy for how you're going to do on your tax.